His problem, 1115, a cylindrical shell rolls without slipping down an incline as shown in the figure. The linear acceleration of its center of mass is, a cylindrical shell is the same as a hoop. So we, we're dealing with that. Um, the torque is going to be given by the force acting on the center of mass of the hoop which is going to be mg sine theta, the component of gravity down the incline and that's going to be acting with a moment arm of r about a pivot point at the contact of the hoop with the incline. So here's our pivot. Hence our net torque is going to be equal to this force times moment arm mg sine theta times the moment arm of that force which is r that is our net torque for this hoop about that pivot. The moment of inertia of the hoop about that pivot is the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus md squared by the parallel axis theorem. But in this case, the moment of inertia about the center of mass for a hoop is mr squared. And rd in this case is the same distance that we move the axis from the center, and that's going to be equal to r. So this is going to be m times r squared, or 2m r squared. That is the moment of inertia of this hoop about the pivot. Well, it should be true that the net torque is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration. So we have that mg sine theta times r is equal to this moment of inertia 2 mr squared times the angular acceleration. Well the masses cancel out on both sides and one of the r's cancel out on both sides and we are left with g sine theta is equal to 2 times r times alpha. Well r times alpha is the linear acceleration so this is equal to 2 times the linear acceleration down the incline. Or we can rewrite this as the linear acceleration is equal to g sine theta divided by 2. So for a hoop or a cylindrical shell rolling down the incline, the linear acceleration of the center of mass is g sine theta divided by 2.